Now let's have a look at the middle sized one. For this one, each side of the hexagon is four inches. The finish here is often called perloid or sometimes referred to as mother of toilet seat since there were toilet seats made during the 1970s that looked like this. Maybe they still make them but I don't know anyone who has a toilet that has toilet seat with this finish. There's the shore logo. Let's take this apart. Take a look inside. There are the reed plates on the opposite end. Here's the button mechanism and as you can see by where the pads fall, if you turn it like this, there are two sets of reed plates. This set is for the D row and this set is for the G row. And if you notice there are two reed plates per row. That gives you two, two reeds per note tuned an octave apart. Now, you may have noticed these pieces of wood here that were glued. These are glued to keep the buttons from going too far down. Sometimes if the buttons are pushed too far down in the buttonhole, they would get stuck down and get stuck to the edge of the button and make it a little more difficult to play. So to make it easier to play, I glue these pieces of wood here. So if you actually get a shower concertina yourself, you might have the same difficulty and that's the solution that I used. Let's put this thing back together and see how it sounds. First let's hear the G row. And the D row. And let's hear what it sounds like compared to the pitch pipe. Here we have the pitch pipe set to G. Slightly flat. Uh, let's set the pitch pipe to D. Slightly flat. <laughs> 